All right, we're almost live here. So um, we're gonna talk about why I fasted for 14 days. I know that seems sometimes, for some people that seems absurd. There's people that done done it longer and there's many people that done it shorter, but uh, I wanna kinda tell, tell you about when I was 26 years old and um, I knew something was wrong. I didn't know what, I knew something was wrong. Basically I was a high level athlete, recon marine, felt like I could do anything in my early 20s, in my teens. But then by the time I hit my mid twenties, it was hard to get out of bed. It was hard to walk around the block. It was like I, a good friend of mine came. He and I both walked down college football together. We both, or I made the team. He didn't make the team. Sorry. And he came out to visit me in San Diego when I moved away from Minnesota. And he we played one on one basketball, and it was like I couldn't even do anything. It was like I was like a little kid against a professional athlete. And it was crazy because we were very similar and very competitive. And it was like he, he was so much better than I was. And it wasn't that he got better. It was that I got that much worse. And so I went for three years uh, through a gamut of trying to figure out what was wrong. And I went to many different doctors. Of course, traditional medicine, that's where I started. And then I went through some Chinese medicine, some Russian doctors, some Asian doctors, some behind the street corner doctors. I went to my traditional doctors and chiropractors and massage therapists. I went to all these things. And I, um, I didn't, I, it's like, it's like nothing, I had no answers. I knew something was wrong. Something was wrong. Something was wrong. At the point, my dog, I had it literally, uh, if you're just joining me right now, I'm talking about why I fasted for 14 days and kind of how I, how I got to that point. Like, why do that, <laughs> right? That seems such an extreme thing. And the crazy thing was, is I was the guy that I studied all this. Like, I studied health and nutrition, but I was sicker and sicker and sicker. I was like the perfect, like, people would look at me like, you do everything right. You eat so clean and healthy. Um, this is back at, literally in early 2000s, by the way, um, late 1990s. And uh, what's up, Derek Smallman? Um, and I... And yet I was sicker than my clients. I'm coaching people, but yet I couldn't even get out of bed. My dog, poor dog, I had to literally stand. I would sit at the top of the steps. I would walk up to the park. It would take us 30 minutes to walk, you know, a couple blocks. And I would sit on top of the steps and throw the ball for her because it was too hard for me to keep walking at 26 years old. And so up to that point, I had a brain injury from football and from uh, just being crazy. Um, I also lost use of my leg for a part of that time. And my body was just shutting down. And so after all these doctors spent a few hundred thousand dollars trying to figure out what's wrong with me, I finally got diagnosed with Hashimoto's and an auto autoimmune disorder. And when that happened, it was like, oh, maybe this is why I'm having problems. And when you start digging into the Google uh, search of what's wrong with you, you can, you can never ending story. You'll, you'll find, you'll find something, always something wrong with you. Right. And what's up, Peggy. And, uh, I, um, I mean, I had, Lyme, I had every Lyme disease symptom. I had every RA symptom. I, I mean, I had symptoms for everything, right? And uh, I'm like, you know, I have parasites. I have this. I have all these things, right? Everything's going on. And after a while, all these different doctors, once they found out what I had, they all tried to treat me. So I'm being treated for, you know, it seemed like everything. And I'm willing to throw the book at it. And there was something missing after about two years of going through this gamut. And it was sucked. It sucked. I didn't get any better. Uh, it was nice to kind of know kind of what was going on, but there wasn't a really an answer at that time to really solve it. And so one day I woke up and I was just super frustrated and I go, listen, I'm going to fire everybody. Now, it wasn't that I, I didn't think they had value. I really did. It was that I, I wanted to show people or I not sure I show people. I wanted to, I didn't know what value they had because everybody seemed to be contradicting each other in some capacity. Although all of it made sense. It seemed like that makes sense. I mean, I don't know if anybody ever heard that or said that to yourself. Like, hey, that makes sense. I can say something that really sounds good, but you go, ah, it makes sense, but it might not be any sense at all, right? For you, it might be, it might not be, right? So anyway, long story short, I am I decided to clean the slate. So I kind of folded all my doctors. I didn't get rid of them completely, but I basically said, listen, I'm not listening right now. Right now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna clean the slate and I'm gonna go for 14 days, no food. Because what I do understand is that primitively, humans are designed to survive, we are designed to live. We are designed to thrive. We are designed to grow and reproduce. Like that is, that's the definition of just a species, right? <laughs> Survive and reproduce, right? That's, the, that's what, that's what any species on this planet is trying to do and the best they can. And so I'm like, our ancestors lived, uh, um, our ancestors lived, tell, somebody text Kate Higdon and tell her I'm on a live and I'll hit it right back. Um, so that means I have to keep it short. Um, but, but, what what's really important here is that once I about five days into fasting, I felt better. It took me a whole five days of no food, just water, and I woke up. I felt like I was like, like unbelievable, and I felt like I was just in an amazing, amazing place. 
And it was truly remarkable of how good I felt. And I was like, something's to this. I can take control. Now, here's the few faults that I made. Here's a few of the mistakes I made. And I'm trying to get somebody logged into my Zoom. So just give me one second. Um, I think we're good. Luis, if somebody texts Luis and tell him to make sure. Oh, there, they got it figured out, I think. And so the reality was is that I thought that it's just that could solve all my problems, just the fasting alone. And I'm like, how do I maintain that? It's not possible. So I, I legitimately went on this journey and I realized it took me an entire year to figure out how to eat. And that's how I've been eating for 15 years until ketones were available. And, but the reality is, is fasting alone, doing a low carb diet by itself for the rest of your life isn't fun. It isn't enjoyable, but yet it's super beneficial. And so if you're not currently fasting, you should be. But the, the challenge has been is, is compliance. People tend to just want to quit. People don't want to stick to it. And I had no choice. You know, I, and I'll tell you, I'm a pretty disciplined person. I'm a pretty determined person. So if things get hard, I can, you know, I can suck it up. And not everybody has that maybe uh, that, 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 that strength in themselves. I've been blessed to have that since I was a little kid. Um, you know, I've been blessed to just pick hard things and do it. Um, but I also avoid a lot of things too that people don't realize. And I've been fasting now for 20 years, but I, I've been teaching fasting for a long time in different capacities. But the, the same thing happens. Everybody quits. Nobody gets it consistently. And what I learned about fasting is it's not one time you do a fast. The one time I did the 14 days, I realized I felt better. But it didn't solve all my problems. It was how do I create a continuous process to change my life forever? To the point where I get to do what I get today, right? I'm 46 years old. I have four amazing kids, a beautiful wife. I get to travel the world. I get to do all these amazing things. And Zoom um, is hopefully good. Uh, check it out. All right. Ah, they're trying to log into my Zoom account right now and I'm on a live. So um, we'll see how this works. Um, but here's what I want to tell everybody is that you got to create a plan. And remember that whatever works for the first week or two, three weeks probably isn't going to be the way it is forever. You got you to gotta know that you're going to evolve through this. What I used to do 20 years ago, I don't do today, right? But I'm different. I can tell you that I've maintained my body since 20 years. I've had three major surgeries, probably another, another one coming in a couple months. Um, and I've been able to maintain my health and my vitality. Those surgeries have been required for about 20 years too. I've been, I've been able to nurse through those for so many, so many years. And but you have to remember, too many people commit to the New Year's resolution um, and their New Year's journey, and they think it's like the plan that they have is the plan that's going to get them to their destination. It's not. The plan they have is the plan that you start with, and it evolves to a lifestyle that you create. Um, but what I can tell you is this, is that fasting should be part of it. Ketones should be a part of it. Exercise should be a part of that. Mindset coaching should be a part of that. Those four things. And last one I would give you, I talked to my cousin today, is get other people on board with you. Have support. Um, accountability is yeah, great things. You need outside people like coaches and, and teams to do accountable, but you also want to have support from your loved ones. If your wife, your mom, your husband, your kids sit down and talk to them like, Hey, I want to change my life. We had to do that when, my, when we launched our business. I was like, we sat down and said, I'm going to be busy. I'm going to be gone. I'm going to be gone at night. I'm going to be working hard. Like you're going to pick up the slack, but that was an agreement we had. I just, just didn't go do it and expect her to understand, right? That's what most people do. So if you're on a, going on a health journey right now and you are struggling with some stuff, then you got to sit down with your family and say, listen, I'm struggling, right? I'm, I, I, can you support me? And men and women, dudes, support your wives, right? Ladies, support your husband. It's not easy for them. Maybe it's something that's internal. My wife, it's not easy for her to not to eat chocolate, but I can't be an asshole about it. What I can do is just encourage her and create another environment for her to support her in that journey and not judge her if she does. Does that make sense? If that's what she wants to give up, she doesn't want to give it up. But if she did... And that's, I'm not getting a marriage advice, by the, by the way. <laughs> I'm staying away from that as much as I can. But the reality is, and what I, I want to encourage people with this live is that, is that it's funny because I've been to a lot of people and they're like, you have this, all this energy. I have all this energy. I've probably always had a lot of energy, but I have really this energy because of gratitude of life. Because I got to look it in the eye and say, is it going to, like, am I going to make it to 30? True story. I literally laid on my back on a table and with three doctors over my head saying, hey, you know, if you don't change your life, you may not walk by 30. You may not function by 30. And you're probably not going to truly have a really good life. That, that was a real conversation. If I don't change my life. So I've been changing my life for 20 freaking years to get to here. So I have a lot of energy because I have a lot of gratitude for all the things I get to do in the future. And so I hope that talks to somebody. But if you're, if you're, if you're, if you're ready for a New Year's change, you got to be ready for the journey of the change. And it's going to be a whole journey. 
It's, it's not going to be a month. It's not going to be two months. You're going to mess up. You're going to fail. You're going to fall back. But as long as you don't quit, you'll never fail. Sorry, I, I should say that differently. But, um, and of course, we're releasing our new prototype. If people are interested in fasting with us, we have our new prototype. We're going to be teaching people intermittent fasting with iFast. So it's like intermittent fasting with ketones and then accelerate. Um, but the ultimate goal for us is to teach you a lifestyle that you can live, which will be different for everybody. And, uh, so if you've invited people to follow me, if somebody, somebody shared my information with them, what's up, Jeff? Um, I want you to get back to them, um, and grab our fasting kits, grab our ketones and sign up for our program because it's the greatest program there ever was. And I'm going to talk about that a little bit later, not today, but another day of like the crap that's out there in the world and what we have. It's like, it sucks. We're watching people sell, I'm watching people sell thousand dollar packages of crap, things I wouldn't give my animals. And yet we're, we're giving people the opportunity for $10 a day to completely transform their life forever. And which is backed by the top scientists in the world. Literally, I was with NASA scientists two weeks ago, three weeks ago now. And, and I'm like, why are we even in the same conversations? Ours is less expensive. It's more, it's cleaner. It's backed by more powerful people. And it's actually going to help you. And it's going to help you solve the long-term journey if you're willing to commit to the journey. And, and so I'll talk about that another day, but, um, um, but let's change your life. If you're following me to follow me, hit me up. Let's do this thing because it's just time. It's time to stop the roller coasters. It's time to create a future for yourself. And the world needs that now more than ever. If it's business, entrepreneurship, it's, it's health, wellness, whatever it is, it's time that it starts. And you got to find the right people to be around. You got to find the right team to work with. You got to find the right product to support you with. You got to find the right journey and know that it's it's 70% psychological. It's maybe 10% community, 10% fitness, and 10% nutrition, right? That's really what it comes down to. And have the, the community and the team and, and the products to support you in that journey. So y'all have a good night. Uh, if you're on our Zoom here in a minute, I'll see you in a second. Cheers.